Welcome back. We are here with our Gen 2 recap for our royal family. And as you can see, this family tree is getting very large. Um, the link to this family tree is in the description below. I'll just preface saying that. And um, people without pictures are babies because you can't take create a sim photos of babies. And then the empty ones are pregnancies. So that's where we're at. And um, I think I'm going to start on the right. We're going to work our way back to the crown royals. Um, I'm not going to re-go over Gen 1 because you can check out the Gen 1 recap for that. But we are going to do Gen 2 right now. And this is also going to include some Gen 3 stuff just because it was happening while Gen 2 was in power, so to speak. So let's start with the Swan March. So the Swan March was founded by Apollo, who was given the title by his mother, Queen Cordelia. And he um, was the last child of Gen 2, so he was much younger than everyone else. He got the title of Marquis. And him and Marla bonded over their love of gardening. So that's what happened there. Marla is twin to Blaze. She came out as transgender when she was a teenager and began her transition. She was raised by her single mother after the death of her father. Apollo and Marla started dating as teens. Yep, okay. Um, and... Stella, their daughter, was one of the children who left for Newcrest, but we'll, we'll get to that. So that was this couple. They had two daughters, Raina and Stella. Raina married Finn, and Raina inherited the title of Marchioness, and they had two children, Isaias and Chelsea. And um, Chelsea did inherit the purple eyes from Finn. So that's this family. Um, for Sims that are single, because we have some like sort of incest now that the family tree is getting so big, like second cousins, cousins, whatever. Um, so if it's a single Sim, that just means that um, they are going to be listed like over here. So she married Mackenzie. So um, since Mackenzie inherited the title of Duke, I moved her over to with him. So whoever inherits the title stays with their family, but whoever doesn't inherit the title moves over here. So Finn has another picture over with his family, but since he married into the Swan family, that's why he's over here, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Moving on, um, we are going to look at the Lion family next. Um, Adora, much like Apollo, was given her title by her mother Cordelia, and um, she married Kayla. Nothing too exciting there. They have kind of opposing styles, which I thought that was really fun. And um, all of their children, because they're lesbians, um, were birthed by Adora, but sired by Blaze. There's a little switcheroo here where Blaze donated to Adora, and then Kayla surrogated for Killian and Blaze, but Killian was the donor for... Is that a word? Surrogated? Sur surrogate? Surrogate? Moving on. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Adora and Kayla had three children. Zachary, who ended up inheriting the title and marrying Robin, and then they have one child so far, Gunner, but they are pregnant with a second. Their second child is Mackenzie, who did move to Newcrest. Now, their last names are not Newcrest, but I figured I wasn't going to remember who was in which kingdom. So uh, everyone who moved to Newcrest, I just added Newcrest in. So um, Mackenzie, who married Stella, who, who we just saw in the Swan family. Um, and they have two children, Brooklyn and Van. And Newcrest is a patriarchy, so Mackenzie inherited the title of Duke, and Van will be inheriting the title after his father. And then their third child um, Kari married Alexander. So here's the deal. This is the Phoenix family, the royal family tree. So um, Alexander was not previously in the tree because he was part of the Kitsune family. Alexander is the one who inherited the title of Earl because um, his his uncle is, is the late king 
So he inherited the title, but since he wasn't already on the family tree, I just tacked him on to Kari here. So that that's the only exception to the rule of having people move into the place with their families as if they weren't already on the tree. So Kari and Alexander got married. They are currently pregnant with twins. So that's that family. Killian, who is non-binary and um, also got the title of Marquis, but I put an X on the end because I don't know what the gender neutral word for Marquis is, but anyway, um, was given that title and Killian and Blaze, here we go, Blaze Perryton, uh, now Raven, uh, twin to Marla, if you'll remember. And uh, they did do the thing where Killian, um, I guess, sired the children and Caleb carried them. Uh, Killian also had a little fling with Haley, but she had a fling with everybody, so it's fine. Um, and they had three children, uh, Donica, who was one of the Sims who moved to Newcrest uh, with Winston. And they have two children, Kathy and Stefan. Craig, who ended up inheriting the title because Donica left. Um, him and Esther actually got, <laughs> got pregnant uh, as teens, so they had to get married early. So Esther, um, I really like Esther. I think she's so cool. She's cool. Um, so they were married as teens because of the pregnancy of Holden, and now they just had a baby, Lila. For some reason, my game makes everyone Lila, Layla, whatever, but anyway, moving on. Um, and then Robin, who married into the Lion family. Then we have the Siren family. So we have Princess Regina, who became the Duchess after marrying Duke Nasir. Um, he wanted to be an actor, so she kind of took the reins of the duchy and kind of, you know, took charge of that. And, um, she was one of the illegitimate twins between Cordelia and Chaz. And, um, you know, she was kind of a brat when she was younger, but she grew out of it. Um, she kind of handpicked Nasir so that she could become the duchess. And... You know, they, ha they had an arrangement, and they enjoyed it, and they enjoyed each other, although she did have an affair with her father-in-law, so there was that. But I do think she did love Nasir, but anyway. So we have a bunch of kids here. We have Giselle, who uh, was very spoiled and turned out evil. So um, Giselle actually was worse than her mother, and she married L.J. Uh, Griffin. I think, yeah, he was in the Griffin family, um, but found out that he was infertile, but he, does, he doesn't know that. So instead of, you know, being reasonable and adopting or getting a donor, she paid LJ's triplet, Xander, to father her child. So, you know, genetically, the child is, the triplets were identical. So um, technically, you know, the child could pass. So nobody ever figured it out. And the child, you know, is doing well. This is Sunny. And uh, he's just like their little miracle baby because no one can figure out why they can't have any more. But she needs someone to inherit her title. So, you know, she just, she couldn't be normal about it. Anyway, um, then we have Duke Cody Perryton. Uh, the Perryton family was not on this tree previously, which is why Cody um, ended up which is why Morgan is now in the Siren family tree, basically. Um, the Perryton curse is basically that no Duke or Duchess lives to see their child become a teen, which is awkward, but it keeps happening, and I guess I'm going to keep making it happen. Uh, they got married and had two children, Brian and Quentin. So there's that. Actually, oh, I'm sad that that they don't have any girls. That's too bad. I wanted them to have, because the Perryton family is Muslim, so um, that's too bad. Maybe one of these kids will be trans. I don't know. They're only toddlers. We'll figure it out later. Um, Joanna actually was the affair baby, so her and um, Regina and her father-in-law had Joanna. Joanna was also evil, I think. Um, and we'll get into her story in just a minute when we get over to the 
royal family. But uh, the other two children were Chantel and Maureen, who are twins, and Chantel married Deacon, and Deacon inherited the um, lilac earldom. So she married him and had Francis, and they're currently pregnant, and then Maureen and um, Cade. Cade is the one who inherited the hyacinth earldom, and they are currently pregnant with twins. So that's the Siren family. The whoosh, okay. The um, Griffin family. So Mikel was a prince. He um, was one of the. He's Regina's twin, and um, he looks just like his mother. He's very endearing, but he was a serial romantic, and it caused a lot of drama. So Cassidy his wife was actually super in love with him and she actually made sure that she got pregnant and um, so that they were forced to marry. But Mikhail doesn't really care about that. So he continued to have an affair with Ashlyn Perryton. So that was um, Morgan's mother. And they continued to have an affair and... Um, you know, they just really got along well and really kind of saw relationships in the same way. So uh, I think he would have married her if Cassidy didn't get pregnant. And they continued their affair. They actually had an affair baby, Finn. And um, that kind of prompted Cassidy to get really mad because Finn looks just like Mikael, like blonde hair, purple eyes. There was no way they were passing this baby off as Yuji. Yuji was Ashlyn's husband. He is an Asian man with black hair. There's no way. And I think Ashlyn had red hair. So everybody knew what happened. So Cassidy poisoned Ashlyn and, um, you know, nobody ever really caught her, but Mikhail knew, you know, he knew. And then when he became an elder, he decided that he wasn't going to you know, let her get away with it. And since he was already old, he didn't care what happened to him. So he uh, killed her himself. So that was something. Uh, they, lots of kids. Uh, we have Mikel Jr., LJ, and Xander, who are the twins. Tw tr triplets. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Um, triplets. Those are the triplets. Um, Mikel Jr. married... Terry, who was from the Perryton family. So far, they only have one daughter. Um, LJ married Giselle. Like, he was the one whose triplet, Xander. Xander left for Newcrest, but was paid by... Um, paid by... What's her name? To father the child. And he actually ended up marrying Lila... And Lila um, had already had a baby with Prince Seth, so he kind of adopted Kaylin, and then together they had Max. So she didn't want to lose her status because, you know, um, Seth was never going to marry her, so she married Sander. And then we have um, these three who all married into other families, so we talk about them separately. And then we here we are with the royal family. Whew. Okay, last one, you guys. <laughs> um, here is Queen Eliza Phoenix. So Eliza was, you know, very driven as a child. She completed the best-selling author aspiration. She failed out of university because I was switching households. <laughs> uh, she did the writing career for a while. She did the wellness aspiration. Um, not one of the new ones, but one that I had gotten through a mod. And then joined the politician career for, you know, her official royal duties. Um, she did the big, fat, big, happy family aspiration. Um, she was unable to solve the mystery of Ashlyn's death, which, you know, was really hard for her because she's an overachiever. Um, her husband, so she married Simon and they were so perfect together. They loved each other so much. Um, but unfortunately Simon had a terminal disease and ended up passing away, which was really hard. And, um, that just, you know, kind of was really, really hard on their family. So what ended up happening was, you know, Seth ended up rebelling. It was a big drama drama. But uh, her and Simon had three children. Leto, who was born first but did not have purple eyes. So he was not considered 
for the throne. He was very smart. You know, people say he would have done a better job than Seth. Um, and then Seth had been engaged to Aubrey, who was part of the Kitsune Duchy, and he was engaged to her because she was like so straight laced and everybody was like, okay, she'll be a good influence on him. At this point, Seth is like, you know, getting really out of control is really mean to people. It's very, very hard. Um, around this time, Eliza remarried to Yuji, who was originally married to Ashlyn. You'll remember Cassidy poisoned Ashlyn. So Yuji was a widower. And um, when he moved in to the, the palace, he brought his son, Winston, with him and Winston and Seth were just terrible influences on each other. They got into so much trouble. They got into drugs. It was just this really, really horrible thing. Um, basically, Leto ended up spending a lot of time with Aubrey because of the arrangement and um, the two ended up falling in love and Seth kind of found out. And even though he didn't even like Aubrey, he still was mad and he got in a fight with his brother. And so Eliza was like you need to stop like you've totally lost the plot here so eliza took him out of the line of succession which made their little sister reliana the next heir because she had purple eyes so seth is just so mad he's like on drugs he's not doing well and so he decides um that he is going to go over to Aubrey's house and confront her, but instead Layla was there. That was Layla that married Xander. And he got Layla pregnant. So his mother finds out, and she's like, you have to marry her now because you got her pregnant. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. So he then goes over to Joanna, who is the affair baby from Regina and her father-in-law, and he says, hey, you want to, like... <laughs> You want to have a baby with me? I'll I'll marry you. And I have this big plan about how I'm going to still become king. So Joanna is like, okay, like, let's do it. So um, he gets Joanna pregnant and elopes with her. And Eliza just kicks him out of the house. She's like, you are insane. Get out of my house. This is not working. So she kicks him out. Um, and he went and saw Luna, who had been the one who had originally gifted Cordelia the kingdom. And he said, you know, I need a kingdom of my own and I'll give you whatever you want for it. And so Luna had already made rules for the Phoenix kingdom. She said, you know, your heir needs to have purple eyes. So um, he said, you know, I want my kingdom to be a patriarchy because he was mad that like, you know, Aubrey betrayed him and that his mother was making him do things and that Reliana ended up getting to be the heir instead of him. So he, you know, had a lot of resentment you know, completely unwarranted because he's a total disaster. But anyway, so the condition that Luna agreed to is Luna said, fine, you can have your own kingdom, but anytime I want someone from your kingdom, I get to have them. If I want to take someone, if I want someone to sire a child for me, if I want to do anything, you can't say no. And so he said, fine, that's fine. And then they, him and all of his little cohorts that left as well stole a bunch of money from all of their families and ran off to Newcrest. So that's a big drama drama there. Um, Leto ended up marrying Aubrey and they had two children, Rachel and Hiro. Seth and Joanna did get married and became king and queen and they had a daughter named Casey. Uh, Luna asked for Seth to father a child for her. That's Skye, who ended up being a vampire and lives with Luna. And then the crown prince, because it's a patriarchy, Blaze. And then Reliana has married Asa. So, you know, they are just such a cute couple. They're so adorable. Um, Reliana is into, like, crafting and knitwear and cross-stitching. And um, Asa is a scientist. And then also um, Eliza and Yuji had Simone. They had her actually when they were old, like Eliza was almost an elder. So, you know, Simone's been very spoiled. And now that Eliza has and Yuji have passed, she's still only a child. So she's going to need to be taken care of by her big sister. 
and um, what else? She completed the knitting aspiration. She has top. This is Reliana has knitting and cross stitching, and they have Crown Prince Gohan, who is the um, the heir because he's the first born with purple eyes. Um, I thought I was being funny because um, Asa is a name that was randomly generated. Asa Gohan means breakfast in Japanese. So then I was like, okay, we'll keep we'll keep that rolling. And um, so I named Princess Natsu, which means summer. And all these kids ended up with purple eyes too, which was awesome. Um, and then because Asa is a scientist, he ended up getting abducted by aliens and got pregnant and had Aki, which means um, like autumn or fall. I, I was choosing seasons because I consider these two to be twins because they were born like on the same day, even though, um, you know, they're not actually twins. But yeah, so that is, that's it. <laughs> that is everything that has happened um, from generation two on to right now. Oh, this is big. This is a big family tree and not even everybody's on it too. But um, this is what's going on. We have some babies that are going to be born soon, some that are you know, going to grow up. So that is the recap for generation two for Eliza's reign. And um, yeah, so we are going to have a little time skip. So I think I'm going to get to like, maybe I think we'll get to the point where Gohan is a child before we pick up with generation three. So um, I do have plans for generation three, I think in between now and the start of generation three, since we're doing a time skip, I might do a little mini series for um, like an actor or an actress so look out for that but uh, this whole playlist for this generation is on my channel as is the playlist for generation one so i uh, hope that you enjoyed this generation because it was a lot of fun and a lot of drama i just love drama like <laughs> i make sure that there's drama in every family um so i really enjoyed this and i hope that you did too so i will catch you guys in the next one